what you're looking for, it's easy to observe corn mating. The real problem is that corn has a tendency to play with itself. So to get a hybrid, you've got to encourage conjugal visits. Of course, that's just what Milford Beagley was doing. Improvement of corn fit right into the white man's vision of manifest destiny. By the early 1930s, the evidence in favor of hybrid seed was becoming overwhelming. Still, farmers resisted, partly because agriculture, like the rest of the country, was in the grip of the Great Depression. But yet I had confidence that, uh, that hybrid seed was a wave of the future. <laughs> You know how popular corn on the cob is, yet most people are amazed to learn that what they're really chewing is a mouthful of ripened ovaries. Corn are so alive, like people. Pick your teeth. Beagley's hybrid satisfies. That's right, this is a toothpick dispenser. Let me see if we can make it work. Well, just like that. I know that my dad was interested in genetics and agriculture and um, that he was one of the pioneers in that field. Still don't think about it. Corn is corn. <laughs> I felt that uh, the first I really got to know him as a person was when I was in my 40s. Would you say he was closer to corn than his family? Oh, definitely. That was his whole life. I think if Dad knew how to communicate, I think my mother would have been a heck of a lot happier. And so would the rest of us. You go back into the house, after she's gone, and it's pretty lonesome. The human family needs to be in touch with nature so that they can carry on and have the good life that nature provides. Away from me dwelling, where school mom would govern with absolute way.